Out of all the performances in track and field that we have seen in 2023, there is currently one athlete that is doing something so next level that it has never been done before in athletics history. And this runner is Letsile Tobogo from Botswana. Since the later stages of 2022, Tobogo has put on a full display of sprinting greatness that honestly far outmeasures anyone else to ever compete. In the 100 meters, he's currently the world junior record holder. In the 200 meters, he's already broken 20 seconds multiple times. And recently, in the 300 meter distance, he ran a time so fast that it showcases a superhuman kind of versatility that we have only ever seen in the greatest sprinters to ever run, as he achieved a time of 31.52 seconds. These three sprinting personal records are already quite unique, and as a junior sprinter, this is truly some next level running. Now, these past few months for Letsile Tobogo have been pretty wild, and his true potential is finally starting to emerge. However, what he did in his most recent competition really places his name on the all-time list. Over the previous weekend, the 19-year-old Tobogo competed in both the 100 and 200 meter distance at the Gaborone Golden Grand Prix. In these two sprinting events, we had massive competition, with Olympic champions in the field, world championship medalists, and athletes that have run some of the fastest times in history. And with finishing times of 9.91 in the 100 and 19.87 in the 200 meters, he just became the only teenager in history to ever break 10 seconds and 20 seconds for these two sprinting races on the exact same day. In fact, this kind of sprinting double is so rare that I could only find two other athletes that had ever done this on the exact same day. One being Noah Lyles back in 2022, and incredibly, the second is actually Assam Asinga, who did this just a few days ago. And let's not forget that he is also very young. In fact, he's even younger than Letsile Tobogo as a high school athlete. So this list, while very exclusive, definitely has some younger competitors on this list. But other than that, I couldn't find anything. So if you know of an athlete that has run under these two barriers on the same day, definitely leave a comment down below. Now, it is important to mention that there was an illegal tailwind in the 100 meters, as it did measure slightly over the allowable limit at positive 2.3 meters per second. But still, if this wind were just a little bit slower, he would have easily broken 10 under legal wind conditions. So for the purposes of this video and overall simplicity, we're just gonna say that this sprinting double was 100% legitimate. Over the course of just two hours time, Tobogo put a world-class 200 meter field to sleep, beating athletes such as Joseph Von Belay, Kenny Benerick, and also Andre de Grasse. And over in the 100 meter distance, he managed to play second, only falling behind Ferdinand Omanyala from Kenya. What really separates Tobogo from the rest of the field is obviously natural speed, but it's the way that he runs that really pushes his abilities to the next level. When he runs, it almost looks as though he's levitating, his knees just come up so effortlessly, his form is just so upright, and it almost seems as though his foot contact is just barely making contact with the ground, and this gives Tobogo the illusion of running with minimal effort while he's certainly putting together a huge performance when he's running. It's kind of surreal seeing Tobogo run so fast while looking so smooth, and I think this kind of efficient running economy is really what makes Tobogo so great. If we go back to his 300 meter effort, his final 100 meters was, for lack of a better word, insane. Coming off the final bend, he already had a pretty big lead, and as he was pushing to the finish line, he was only getting further and further away. And like he has done multiple times in the past, he eased up before the finish line about 20 to 30 meters before he finished, and slowed down significantly. And yet he still ran the 8th fastest time in human history. Just a crazy kind of run from Letsile Tobogo. For the past few years, we have seen this athlete from Botswana slowly but surely become one of the best athletes in the world. And given what he just did this past weekend, I think moving forward, he is going to be extremely difficult to beat in both the 100 and the 200. Now to this day, he is still the only junior sprinter to ever break 20 and 10 in both of these events. But given that he will be turning 20 years old this year, he no longer qualifies as a junior athlete, but still, he ran a sub-10 and a sub-20 as a teenager, which is already pretty mind-boggling. But what's even crazier is I think that we are just starting to scratch the surface as to the real potential of Letsile Tobogo. And now I want to hear from all of you. How fast do you think Tobogo will run in 2023? And do you think he has a chance to get a world championship medal in this year's athletics finals in Budapest, Hungary? Leave your thoughts in the comments section down below. Thanks for watching, everyone, and as always, until next time.